And you say that the S&P 500 is set to reach new highs, possibly 1370. What do you see? Well, we think that the market, the S&P, successfully tested support at 1300, 1295. During the pullback, we still had very good market internals. We had good market breadth. We had good market volume. In addition to that, many of the indicators started to approach oversold levels. And we think now the market is responding to that. We think we're going to go up and test the recent highs near 1350 to 1370. And maybe even uh, during the summer or possibly later this year, go as high as 1400. So what can the recent moves by hedge fund tell us about where the markets are headed? You've got some data on hedge funds that is important. Yes, what we've noticed over the past several weeks, if not months, hedge funds have really been lowering their exposure to the market. We have models that estimate what the equity long short uh, net exposure is to the market. And last week we estimated they had dropped it down to about 28%. That's relative to a normal benchmark of somewhere between 35 to 40%. We've also noted that cash levels have been rising. And there was a notable hedge fund recently out saying that they raised their cash level up to 75%. So we think hedge funds could be one of the major catalysts that allow this rally to participate. Basically because they're, they're basically on the sidelines raising cash levels and that uh, any, any trigger could bring them back in. That's exactly right. And what we said, basically, you know, you can't blame investors for really keeping their powder dry or being uh, to the sidelines with all of the macro events that we're seeing here in the United States and what we're seeing over in Europe. So really what we've seen is a lot of investors pull away from the market, sit on their hands, waiting for a decisive move on the macro news. But what the market is telling us is that this is going to be resolved in a positive way. And if the markets continue to rally, we think particularly the hedge funds are going to come back into the market and if they do they can actually drive the market uh, to new highs and if we're go going to break uh, 1370 we'll go to 1400. All right so what's the bottom line here Marianne what should our viewers take away from this conversation? The bottom line is the market successfully tested support we're going to go up and test the recent highs of the market near 1370 and that hedge funds are going to be a major catalyst for the move. Okay, so, so it's a positive. Now, of course, then we've got all these fundamental issues going on around. It's got the debt ceiling talks, got what's going on in Europe. Uh, do you worry that, that uh, sort of inactivity on any of those fronts could uh, create, uh, create some problems here? Well, we have seen risk measures rise. A lot of people are quoting the LIBOR OIS spread. Um, here at Bank America Merrill Lynch, our derivatives department has a global measure of risk, and that has been rising. But what the internals of the S&P 500 are telling us is that these events should get resolved in a positive way that keeps this market still in a bull market trend. What, speaking of risk, what about the VIX, the volatility index? Even the VIX, it spiked up a little bit and we're rolling back over again. In fact, from a pure technical perspective, we're still in a downtrend for volatility. And what we've been arguing before we become really concerned for a major down move in the market, we think you might even see the VIX move to 10. All right, we'll leave it there. Marian, always nice to have you on the program. Thanks so much for your insights. Thank you, Maria. We will see you soon. Marian Bartels, Head of Technical and Market Analysis at B of A Merrill Lynch.